everybody, I'm Amber. And I'm Maddie. And we're Witches, Witches Talking Tarot. And we're and back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. We took a little break for the holidays because these witches deserve that shit. Yes. But today, we are here to talk to you about the myth of Marsana and Yarilo. These are two Slavic deities. Marsana is also known as Morena, Morana, Mara, Mora, Mera. She is the mare in your nightmare. She is a winter deity associated with death, dreams, witchcraft. Yeah, yeah. That's so good. I'm going to sound uh, stupid, but I'm going <laughs> to ask in case anybody else is wondering. So what exactly, when you say Slavic deity, there's Russian, there's Ukraine, what else is there? Uh, Where, so there's lake? Georgia, there's Czechoslovakia, there is, we have so many Slavic countries that listen to us, actually. It's kind of cool. Oh, that's fucking yeah, awesome. Yeah, like I don't know how regularly y'all listen, but like Serbia and oh Croatia. Oh my God, isn't it cold as shit in Serbia? Uh, or is I that mean, a stereotype? I, or I, is it Serbia? It starts with an S. It's like so cold. I don't know. I I, I would say Siberia. That, oh, Siberia. Is yes, that, that is that. It's it's part of Russia or it's up above Russia. Uh -huh. But it, it would be Slavic. Siberia. Okay. Yeah, that's where Siberian legend is where Baba Yaga got her chicken leg hut. From, uh, I hear but, Siberia yeah. and I think saber tooth tiger. Is that anywhere where they were located, or am I just thinking? I no oh, idea. it's I cold. Don't yeah, Ice I don't. age. Yeah, I was gonna like, say like I, I don't know. that one. I literally don't know. I know they had like giant bears there, oh, and they shit. had woolly mammoth. Um, I oh I, I I believe the bears. I think they did maybe have like if they didn't have saber tooth cats they had some kind of very large cat up there but they had i too you know um if i didn't mention your country i do apologize i don't know like all of but like slovenia uh romania transylvania these are all slavic okay countries. so transylvania like, yeah all of these places are slavic um and so, uh, you know, Mar Marzana has different I... names in all of these areas. Uh, her name in Poland, which is also Slavic, uh, is Marsana. And I just love <laughs> that name and I love saying it. Like, Morana is beautiful and Marana is You know what it reminds me of? Mascarpone. Ah! So every time I, I hear it, I think that. I don't think I've ever Mascarpone had it. Mascarpone is delicious. I don't think I've ever had it. Is it a sweet cheese? Uh, it's, have you ever had a tiramisu? Uh, yeah, maybe. I think. It has mascarpone on it. It's not something I have often. Yeah, but it's the white creamy stuff in tiramisu. Mm, so it is like a cream, sweet cream? I don't know if you have to add sugar to make it sweet or not. Or it's I like don't. a bry or brie. Yeah, I have brie. no <laughs> idea what it tastes like outside of a tiramisu style dessert. Okay. So all I know is how it tastes in tiramisu, which is a nice custardy vanilla-y thing. Yeah, huh. I do like mascarpone. That's what I think. Is that, that Slavic? Is, no, that is Italian. Oh. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> what the fuck? Pretty sure. I'm so sorry. Uh, no, you're fine. Yeah, I'm like, I just am rolled I fucking, my Marsana am I, arm. Am I fucking stupid? Because, no. like, you just said no. you're Marsana. <laughs> like, duh. Mascarpone. No, I thought that's it was because I rolled my arm, like, on Marsana. I'm trying to remember. I did. I think that's what threw me off. Yeah. But you got to say it, like. I'm trying to remember. You got Marsana like that, but then you've got Mascarpone <laughs> as the Italian one. <laughs> Like they're pronounced differently. I, uh, as as I mentioned in our episode that we did with Petals of Support, you should check it out. The witchy sleepover we had. My Russian grandfather said I had an American tongue, a stupid American tongue. So I don't want to upset my ancestors. I'm trying to roll my R's properly. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Dombriutrum. It could Dombriutrum. be. It could be. Tear to loom. <laughs> or, or is, it's not tear de lune. What is it? Oh, uh, 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 Tuatha de Danan. Tuatha de Danan. <laughs> I would rather say Marsana and Yarilo every day. So Yarilo is, yeah, instead of like, it's not with a J, it's with a Y. It, right. I've seen it with both spellings, but the no. Y spelling seems to be more common. That's like Spanish-y. Uh, uh, the 
Yeah, I found it listed on websites with Spanish writing, and uh -huh. that's why I started sticking with the Y when uh -huh. I was looking up Yarilo. Uh -huh. But in Slavic writings as well, it is spelled with a J and one L. I found the name Yarilo spelled on Spanish sites uh, with two L's. Really? Yeah, huh. so I assume it is also pronounced Yarilo uh, or Yario. Huh. Because it's got the two L's. If you're in the Slavic area, comment and let us know how it's pronounced. Yeah. I mean, um, like, yeah. And if you are Spanish and you know how to s pronounce the Spanish version of that name, I am curious. So what is, is, it, is there a oh, Spanish version? I don't is know. there a different god? Oh, you don't know? You don't know? No, I mean, it's like a regular person name. Well, actually, oh, it's like a, Jesus. oh, it's a regular person. I'm so yes. sorry. I thought, oh, there yeah. were, I thought there were two oh. gods. I thought there was a oh. Slavic god with the same name. No, no, no. And no, some no. sort of Spanish like, yeah, name as well. No. So Yurilo is actually a Spanish name as no. well. No. Well, yeah. J-A-R-I-L-L-O is, yes, also a Spanish name. Okay. And I assume it's Yarilo, but it might be Yario because the two L's. I don't know. Okay. I okay. don't know. But yeah, um, because I found it spelled both ways, and then I found the Spanish spelling with the J. I just started personally sticking with the Y when I was doing things with his name. Mm -hmm. Just to less fuck my brain <laughs> in the whole situation. But uh, as Marsana is the winter goddess, Yarilo is a god of springtime. He is your typical god of springtime. And because he is a Slavic god of springtime, he is associated with the wheat crop. Uh, basically, as the wheat crop grows, in a way, so does Yarilo. I get Yarilo. kind of, like, feminine uh, <clears throat> Apollo vibes off of Yarilo. I can see that. I can. I do. I see him like he's blonde and he's doing this number when he walks through the fields. And he's Marsana... Blonde is like behind him like behold the wheat <laughs> right and he's like <laughs> Just, that's how i see it so like i'm imagining because you know it's a casting episode y'all yes i'm like is your relo who can i see you said you had someone yep 100 percent nikolai oh Costa shit that's right Walser, you said, whatever to me he's too manly when i hear your relo oh, no. i'm thinking more like feminine oh no you know no, like honestly with him being a slavic actor and being blonde even though i personally don't care because we can always dye their hair and the fact that he played Jamie Lannister <laughs> in relevant. Game of Thrones, it is relevant. And so, like, for me, 100% in the box, him. Because, like, <laughs> Jamie Lannister kind of, like, sometimes. He kind of flouncy. What? Okay, uh, that's He be offensive. acting flouncy. <laughs> no, I don't mean in, a, in any sexual way. I mean, he is not always manly. Quite often, I question Jamie Lannister's manhood. Speaking uh, of Game of Thrones. Yeah, actually. Game of Thrones and manliness. Um, what the fuck did Pod do to those girls? Oh. Like, what did he do? I just, like, I have read so many theories that somebody was like, he didn't do anything. I, they just felt sorry for him, so they, they gave him his I still back. think, like, Cunning... Cullen... Cunnilingus. Cunnilingus 100%. <laughs> That's such a bad idea. It's a brothel. <laughs> I've been rewatching Carnival, which is like one of my favorite shows. Yeah. And like, it's a traveling carnival oh, circus God. in the 1930s in the Dust Bowl of America. Oh, gross. Love this show. The soundtrack is my woosaw music, but like, there's some uh, sex workers that are a part of the carnival. And um, one of the things that they were gonna do in this one episode is called a hot lunch. What the fuck? That sounds gross. Yeah, I know! It sounds because, like, my oh, God is hot ham and that. cheese! Like, <laughs> and that's not sexy! No, but like, also, if you're gonna line up for the hot lunch, you're just getting the guy in Wait, front of you. Wait, what the fuck's a hot lunch? Um, okay. They take turns, one lick. Okay, so that is not mm. what I thought it was. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is this? I it's truly... what the sex workers are doing in their booth, or what the 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 dad, because uh, it's 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 a dad and his wife, and originally it's their two Ew. daughters, but in Babylon. 
one. It goes down to just one daughter. Anyway, he's trying to get the wife to do the hot lunch, and she's like, no, I will not fucking do that. And then the daughter's like, daddy, are you in money trouble? It doesn't sound so bad. And he's like, no, you're not doing that. Nope, okay. I shouldn't. Nope, nope. Like you said it's like one lick, and then they go like. Just what? They, they pay like a nickel for a lick. Okay, so what I said, hot ham and cheese, sounds that much worse. I know! I totally understand. you said hot ham and cheese. No, I didn't. You said hot lunch. You said hot lunch, so I just assumed that it was a sandwich. Or, like, it was, like, nope, a meal it thing. Was a sex thing. And that, what I yeah. said sounds so much grosser. Oh, like, yeah. Oh it was God. fucking funny if you know Thank the God show. I didn't say cordon <laughs> blue, because, like, I was going there. Oh, because the wife had to use a soda pop because she was having a problem. <laughs> also, like, I love the history the show is gives you. Is this on you. HBO? It is on and HBO. And what's it called? It's called Carnival. It has an E at the end. It's... Do not watch it when the children are awake. Oh, I won't. I won't. It is, like, a million percent very rough adult subject matter. I mean, like, the, prost or the sex worker family is a man and his wife and their daughters. <sighs> the 30s were crazy. Oh, my God. But it's really spiritual, and tarot cards are literally the introduction to okay, the show. Okay, I've got to watch it. Yeah, like, there is a GIF on probably every social media, but I know Twitter for sure, that's literally from the intro to this show. It's the tarot, it's tarot cards coming down. Beautiful artistry. It's a great show. I love it. Love the music. But, yeah, whatever it was you said made me think of the hot lunch. And I'm sorry. I took us off course. I, sorry, I can't guys. even remember where we, are, where we were going. Okay, there. so we're but casting Yarilo. So you said Nikolai something. Yes. I guess, Whatever you his know, last but name I just is. see it was so much more like... But, fem. like, oh. I I don't see any Slavic man ever as feminine, for one. Like... Really? Yeah, no. I, I do not picture them as feminine, like, at all. Like, reading the stories, I... I mean, I picture him as more feminine than Parun or Veles, uh -huh. uh, which is why I think Jamie Lannister guy is perfect. I think my perfect. problem is all the gods to me are very feminine, and I think that's because they're at one with their energies. You know, you got masculine and feminine. So it makes sense that they would appear more feminine, mm -hmm. but Apollo, that's gay. We'll see. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, 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 they, like... So yeah, I don't know why. I don't know, I don't know why. I, like yeah, maybe cuz I definitely don't get for the majority of it I don't get the feminine so, feel. Apollo I do. Apollo I can see it like Maybe it's because he's dancing with flowers. I mean that does sound Am I I don't know. Like I just I in my head I see him as like um Who could I see dancing with flowers? I don't know. Oh. I will go with Nikolai as long as we can promise to look back on Alexander Skarsgård because... <gasps> what the fuck? You really don't think he's attractive at all? Uh, I don't think the younger Skarsgårds are. <coughs> Ironically, I do think Floki is kind of weirdly attractive. Oh my god, that is weird. I know, Gustav? I said weirdly attractive. Like... Weirdly attractive. He don't uh, have Alexander's hair. not bad. His brother's eyes freak me out, which is what yeah. I did the book about. It's got the Tim Curry thing yeah, going like, on. Yeah, I can't, I can't handle his eyes. Uh, but also, like, I don't know, like, I, you know, every time we've done, like, a Slavic or a Celtic episode, you've always, like, mentioned, oh, like, this person would be Celtic or this person would be, like, Germanic. So I like the idea of taking these uh, as many as we can because there aren't as many Slavic people in the movie industry mm -hmm. but taking as many of the Slavs as we can and casting them in the Slavic so, you know because I know Jensen Ackles is not Slavic <laughs> neither are the Sheens but it's what we did for that episode it's what we had did you watch the video I sent you of Nikolai what's his name singing that fucking song yes that was what? so oh, the fun sister. oh my oh, fucking god because the, the sun closer to home. oh my god yes the Game of Thrones it was on Game of Thrones yeah it was like F a Game HBO of Thrones thing yeah. real or something and he sings a on song Facebook that's the fucking word and I'm it, it for. makes sense it goes along with the myth I promise it, you guys yeah but he's like closer to home when he said <laughs> he really said a family tree <laughs> with a branch of our own <laughs> That I died. Made me laugh so I loud. fucking died. That's the other reason I want to cast him. Yes, because <laughs> it's so perfect. 
with the bridge. But oh. I won't lie for Marsana or Morana or Marana. I don't like Whatever. Marana. I, I don't. I'm not yeah, I'm, I'm Marsana. I, I like, like Marsana. Marsana. It comes to mind. But mm -hmm. I've had in my head for months Mila Jovovich. I. I'm gonna she's look the girl up. from I the Fifth who, Element. I I wonder what she looks like. Um, <coughs> now. But I know oh, it's... Oh, yeah. I have are no you idea. referring to early 2000s? I'm just... Yeah, the picture of her I have in my head, which is her as a younger individual. She's so beautiful. She's so beautiful. <sighs> Let's see. She's she got is. the hair. Well, and I mean, also, Jovovich. Mila Jovovich. I'm just saying, like... She's so pretty. She is. I fucking love her in The Fifth Element. I love her in Days She is Confused. in Resident Evil. I thought... I have never actually watched the Resident Evil movies, except I think the first one because I like the video game so much. Oh, but they're I don't good. No. They're good. Re Wait, Resident Evil? Oh, I don't. I don't. I'm not like a super Re fan. Resident like, Evil. Isn't that the movie she's in? Yeah, it is. Yeah, okay. the, I've seen the first one, and I've seen a couple of them, but I haven't, like, seriously watched them. I always get her mixed up with the person from uh, The Underworld. Yes, I remember we've had that conversation, Kate Beckinsale. Is that who it is? And the, is, is the, she, she's the main vampire girl. Is she uh, Slavic or no? Kate Beckinsale? Yeah. No. I wouldn't think so. How the fuck they she's sh like I English. swear this bitch don't even look she doesn't even look like who I thought she was. Man, maybe it's cuz she's got not wearing the Are the, you talking about the daughter of the main vampire guy? No. That lady? No. Cuz she might actually be Slavic. I really don't know. Her name's like Roma something. I'm talking And about I used to hate her face. She's English. Um I'm talking about the one from just a regular underworld, like yeah, that's her then. Okay. Okay, that's and her. apparently she plays in Van Helsing. She's the princess yeah. in Van Helsing. I okay. love Van I Helsing. I still haven't seen that movie. Oh I God, was good. gonna watch it a couple weeks ago, and then something happened, and I never put it on. I don't know. So to get to, along with the story of Marsana and Urielo, <laughs> and why closer to home makes a lot of sense with them is um so it starts with say, a kidnapping i would say should we uh cast lada the love interest oh we could it, but it's i think Emma we Roberts. both know yeah okay. i know i yeah. just wanted to do yeah, that bitch. it came to me as i was going to bed the other night i was like Oh, Emma Roberts is Lana. Exactly. She's a fucking bitch. Cause She's I, got like, a cigarette. Right? Like, because we could cast Perun and we could cast Velas, but they don't really... They're other not than like the fact they're not characters. main. Yeah. And that yeah. way, we can still have them open when we do tales about yeah, them exactly. later. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So we have our cast with our favorite bitch, Emma Roberts. I just, that was the <laughs> only reason I bitch. wanted... Yep. I just <laughs> wanted to do it. Can we First please time get, like, year. a picture of us both hanging, holding, like, a surprise bitch thing? Yes. That would be great, we have to. That bitch is an Emma. And it'll have a picture of Emma Roberts on each side. <laughs> and then she's like, oh, my God, I'm suing you. Oh, my God. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, no. Damn, ho. No. <laughs> but it would be like that picture within a picture, right? Because it's the picture of her holding the surprise bitch oh sign. Oh, my God. And it would be the surprise bitch sign that's got her on it. With and the then surprise. she's like, I'm suing you. I'm pulling a full ass Taylor on your ass. <laughs> like, <clears throat> I could see her doing that. Wow. Fuck you, Emma. <laughs> I wish Marsana killed you. Okay. Oh my god. So, uh, <laughs> if that hurts your feelings, I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> How about Evan wait Peters? Evan Peters is did it hurt his feelings? Were you sorry? <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> okay, wow, I didn't mean to be that catty. <laughs> so it starts with a kidnapping, as Maddie said. Because Tuparun, the Slavic god of thunder, was born a pair of twins and Yarilo was one of those twins and he was secreted away by someone in some tales it is Velas the god of the waters and the underworld in some tales it is an unknown figure 
and Velas ends up adopting him. But either way, Velas raises Perun in the un er, Damn it! Every time I have to bring the two into it, he raises Yarilo in the underworld. Now, do you think Velas is the type of person that sees that someone kidnapped this guy and is like, "Oh shit"? Or do you think he's like, ha motherfucker? Uh, okay, so definitely the latter of the two. Oh, yeah, he's uh, like... Parun and Velas are like enemies. Yeah. I'm a Velas fan, though. Oh, my God, no. Because I love the Underworld guys. And I the like Thunder Velas, guys, too. I do. Yeah, I the, do. the Thunder guys just don't do anything for me. Like Zeus, Odin. I do like... Odin is my favorite of the Thunder I guys. I like Thor. No offense, Parun. I like Oh, Thor. my bad. Thor. Thor is the thunder guy. Odin is not the thunder guy. Odin is the sky god, but not the thunder god. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so Thor doesn't do anything for me, so I don't feel guilty about the Odin thing. Okay, great. Yeah, I just, I, I am a Velas fan. So, like, in most of the stories, uh, they fight and uh, Parun wins, and I'm not a fan. I like to think... I don't know, you know what, But maybe? they are definitely enemies, so I'm pretty sure he was like, maybe fuck I'm this guy. Maybe I'm just giving Velas the benefit of the doubt. But I like to think, because we were talking, like we were, we were talking yeah. Game of Thrones earlier, yeah. you know how Theon Greyjoy is kind of like the, the he's, he's technically a captive, but he's more like a, a son. son and family member. Maybe it's yeah. like that type of... Oh, oh absolutely. Like, he right. is well treated. But right. I think Velas was like, fuck you to Perun he's in like, that whole thing. But there's a lot of legends where he doesn't even know it's Perun's son. I assume, based on all the stories where they're fighting, that uh -huh. he's like, haha, motherfucker, but I like to think the first one, where he's like, oh, this poor babe, I must take care of him, I have no children of my own. Aww. Which I actually don't know, I, I haven't looked it up, in, into it enough. I like that, I like that very Ned Starky in the, like, yes. I, I, will I will take, take your, care son. Of your son. I will take your son, because you're kind of being a dick. But I'll take good care of him, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. He'll be like mine. God, son. he did that with two guys. He did? Jon Snow. Oh, my God, he did! That's what I thought you were talking oh, about. I was, I was, I was talking like, about Greyjoy still. I was like, my who God. the fuck is the it, other guy? It works. It, it works. does. I like that. I like, I like that. that. So, like, and he's working with cows and shit in the underworld. Yes, right? he is. He's, like, raising cattle. I love is... that cattle are, like, l they're really, what is it? Not luminous. What is it? Liminal? L liminal animals. Yeah, Even in, like, the in Hindu. You know? yeah. yeah. I do like that. Cows. Sh Livestock shows up a lot in our shows. Have you noticed that? Well, I think it's because it was so important I, to the I Europeans. Agree. Yeah. You know, I. Between I mean, the deer and the cows uh -huh. and the. There's something I else. shouldn't say just Europeans. Sheep. I Sheep. apologize. A deer, cattle, it's all very important to the to whole the world. Because, yeah. like, we I eat mean, it, you yeah. know what I mean? But yeah. when I think European, I think Ireland, I think sheep. Yep. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. I don't know. And they've come up, too. Maybe that's episodes. a stereotype of Europeans. Like, they're cattle, like, sheep and shit like that. No, but I think that is Goats. an accurate uh, Irish thought process that they predominantly have sheep. Right. I think that is actually Goats and things and like that. And that's why like mutton's so big over there. Not mutton because that's goat. Is that sheep? I don't know. I don't eat it. I'm sorry. We don't eat it. Around. We don't know. But as Maddie was saying, the cows are liminal because he's raising cows in the underworld. And I think he's raising crops down there too. I'm not sure. Because he is connected right. to the wheat. As No, did Marsana. it ever say anything from when he was in the underworld being raised? Was there... Was there still good stuff going on up here? It wasn't like mm -hmm. a Persephone situation. Uh, no, it was not like a Persephone situation. Um, although I do like the 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 counters that the story brings. Uh -huh. um, but it's it's more of because his light shines so bright. He moved up into the world and brought spring with him I like when that. he was grazing the cattle, like a fucking blossom. Right, like, and he's the spring god, exactly. And like, he is not the sun god, but I do associate him with the sun because mm. just like, Apollo. you know, yeah. Well, and I was gonna say just like um, the everything's blooming. It's because the sun is getting stronger. Right, right. So I feel like his presence is is amplifying the sunlight but it's not necessarily changing Dajboga any mm -hmm. and in any way mm -hmm. so I guess it's changing the world so that Dajboga's light reaches it better maybe right. I, I because I like I feel like he brings the warmth with him mm -hmm. as he comes from the underworld up into the upper world mm -hmm. when he's he's grazing his cattle and he brings them above okay. and 
I guess, when he brings them above, he meets Marsana. He catches the eye of a beautiful lady. Mila Jovovich over there with her long Don't fucking hair. Don't get excited. That's his twin. Oh. They're related. But, it's, but they don't know. Kind of like, and they fall they're in related. love. They're related. It's kind of romantic. It's not. <clears throat> it's really not. But like, they're they're fraternal twins, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad but you laughed. If you I left me fucking Jake. hanging, <laughs> if you did not laugh, I would have <laughs> died, you guys. I would li- like if I'm you had sorry. met me with awkward silence, I would have fucking had to leave because that would have been <laughs> so embarrassing. I'm so glad you laughed. Uh, it was a joke. Please, I hope you guys laugh too because. Oh, shit. That's like, that was like George R. Martin cannot sponsor our show. My brother and I are so Unfortunately, it happens a lot in mythology. Uh, it does. It does. But we were like actually you said, they were that. raised again. They, like, right. They were raised separately and they don't know that they're twins. They have no idea. Uh huh. They have no idea. They just. Does anybody have ever a soul connection and fall in love? At oh first my God! Sight. To quote Cersei Lannister, they came into this world together. <laughs> ah! Ah! I hate Lena Headey so much. Is that her name? Yeah, yeah that's right. her name. I think so. I can hate her. <coughs> we were discussing this also before the episode. <laughs> But, ew, they do have a soul connection. Like, yeah, because okay. they immediately fall in love. But they mistake it. It's not love. It's, oh my God, you're my twin. You know what I mean? Ah, but I don't even know that it's that because I think it's like one of those like opposites attract thing. Like they're supposed to come together. But at the same time, maybe it is an ah, you're my twin. Like I had that. I just, whatever. I oh love Marsana. I ain't talking head, shit. Head cannon. What if that happened? Okay, I'm making shit up, guys. This did not happen. Okay, but what if that did happen? And Uriela was, like, at a bar, and he's just like, man, I fucked my sister. What the fuck? Uh, and then Emma Roberts walks in. Oh, my God. And she's like, hey, Fucking how you bitch, doing? Right? He's like, I'm in a bad... I've, I've had a bad... Okay. You know what I mean? Not you know what? <laughs> but, like... She's like, why don't you come home with me? Right, because, like, here's how I see it, right? In my head... And the bar scene works perfectly with how I see it in my head because it's like Yorilo's in love with Marsana. It's an opposites attract kind of moment. They love each other on first sight. He is the god of spring. She is the goddess of winter. Mm -hmm. And they fall in love and they make the world whole. And then she walks by. Her heart is fucking cold as shit. No, it's not. (laughs) No, but then the goddess of spring. (laughs) Yes. But then the goddess of spring walks by, and Yarilo's like, oh, look at her. She's all shiny and bright. Oh, my God, wait. And that, that is why I feel bad sad. for Marsana. No, See, this is why I that don't. That makes me sad because a lot of people in married, married couples go through a thing where they're like, man, we are so that different, but she is similar. Exactly. We have the same Exactly. Interests. And that's how I see it, and that is why oh I am God. team Marsana, because that's exactly how I see it, is he was happy with his wife, and then he's like, oh, but she's bright and shiny and, and gold she's like, like me. She's like me. Yeah. We have the, we both like the same video yeah. games. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like, but that's like why I'm like poor Marsana all the time because like, that's, that's that is sad. exactly how I see it. That but the sad. bar scene works just the same because he had a bad day at home and he's upset with they his got, wife. They got into a fight even with if he his doesn't, wife. Even if he doesn't know she's his sister yet. Right? They, like, they got into a fight. He's like, God. Uh, so he's sitting there and he's, he's just sitting like, there. He's like, I just want to shine as bright as I can. And Emma Roberts is like, Me too. <laughs> she's such a bitch. <laughs> she is. She's like, No, she's more like, I don't know. I was so embarrassed to even say it, but there's like a scene in American Horror Story where she takes like a hit and she's like, So are you going to be my slave tonight? Like, if oh, she just yes. has that energy. Exactly. And you're like, Poor Yorilo, he doesn't understand. He doesn't know that which way he does. He's, he's, like, he's, like, right he's like intrigued, but it's like, or intrigued, but it's like, Yorilo, don't he's fall for that. She's a hoe. <laughs> she is. That's right, because Lada also has a twin. 
Oh Which is God. why, out of all the different spring goddesses, I choose to use the name Lada, guys. So if you were waiting to hear Vesna or the Russian name that starts with a K that's really fucking long and I forgot to write it down, so I definitely don't know that one because it's like like 12 letters long and it starts with a K. But there's a bunch of different spring goddesses and none of the tales mention which one she is, so I think it's based regionally. Mm -hmm. Because, like, Yarilo's name seems to be the same, but as, as I said at the beginning of the episode, Marsana's name is different regionally, mm -hmm. and the spring goddesses, their names are regionally different as well. Like, <laughs> Vesna is one, Lada is one, there's one that starts with a K, there's, like, there's a bunch of different spring goddesses, but the story doesn't ever say which, so that is why we picked Lada, because... I picked Lada because that's what I'm just doing for my own research purposes. But I also picked Lada because I think it's funny that she has a twin brother herself. His name's like Lido. <sighs> Lido. <laughs> something like L-I-D-O or something Man. like that. Do we lotion? Oh, please. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't this. do it, y'all. Relo. You go find out, You though. got New York right there. You don't go for fucking delicious. I That's a Flava Flay reference. <laughs> That's, I've been rewatching Flava Flay. <laughs> so, like, if you want love, flavor of love, uh, please tell me you got that. Because, <laughs> like, I have never seen the show, I've only seen commercials. It's so good. <clears throat> It's so bad, but it's so I bet so it's good. funny as shit. I bet it's funny as shit. But I was also thinking, like, yeah, I wouldn't go to New York for delicious. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, well, that's their names. Yeah, I realized okay. that when you said it's a Flavor Flav reference. But like, also, like, doesn't Flavor Flav belong with delicious? Flavor Flav chose delicious, I believe. Oh, good, because that makes sense. But they didn't get married. Oh. No. She was she, just in it for the money. Yeah, and well, delicious. he also didn't choose New York either, so... Mm, I would never choose Which is New York. sad because I think, uh, yeah, New York. I'm just kidding. I don't know you. If you're a person that's listening and your of, name is New York, I'm she sorry. Could, no, I'm she's so funny. New York is so funny. I was watching the show and she says, like, one of the other contestants is like, you need to apologize to me. And then they went behind the scenes, you know, how they'd be doing. Uh -huh. New York's like, I never apologize because I'm, you know... I don't make mistakes. I'm like, this bitch really just fucking said this. Like, are you serious? <laughs> Damn, the confidence. I know, the confidence. The narcissism. <laughs> that was my thought. I was like, this bitch really. I am not confident enough to even say that, though. Like, like <laughs> I guess maybe I am also not narcissistic enough. Yay me. Uh, but I, I don't, don't make mistakes. So I, I was like, this is crazy. I do make mistakes. I am human. I know, I know, I know, but she's so funny. Anyway, basically. Anyway, so, so, yeah, Lada's a bitch. Know, she a hoe, yo. In my head, I'm sad for your Rilo. Like, please stop. I know, because you do not know what you do, y'all Rilo. Also, my heart's breaking from her. Spirit. I know, that's why I love her. Like, because uh, I imagine so she's at works. home and she's like, I've got to make this bread, literally. Like, I've literally got to make it work. Yes, yeah. I have to. Yes, because, like, that is, like, because, like, I figure that's why he cheats on her with a goddess of the springtime. It's because he and she are literally polar opposites. Right, and he just wants and something he familiar. he goes to... Okay, does it say how she finds out? It does not. So it... here's how I'm imagining she finds out. Go this for is it. Yes. Yurilo comes home. He's like, we were on a break. And this bitch is like, <laughs> we've got Break your legs. We got full motherfucking Ross versus Rachel shit going down with friends, oh, and Ra no. Rachel's like, or Marsana's like, was she good? Oh. And then Ross is like, never ask that Riello. question. He's like, she was different. Never oh. ever ask that question. We were on a break. And that oh. was his last words. Yeah, no. Uh, so, <laughs> I more picture, uh, I don't know if you saw the meme I made, but literally it's a meme. I have been, or it's a picture of Mila Jovovich with a camera over yes. her face when she's like 16 years old. I've been sitting on it for like months waiting till closer to Marsana's season. And I literally picture it as like Marsana has been feeling the pull away from her with Yarilo. Okay, wait, and did so, he fuck her once or was this a, a longer affair? I opinion? don't know, but maybe it started like in here, you know, like maybe he saw Lada and then he like pulled away, pulled away, pulled away from Marsana and then cheated on her. Cause like some people do that. They have to emotionally detach from their partner before they cheat on them. 
Yeah. You oh know, and God. so like I just in my head I picture that Marsana felt Yarilo pulling away and pulling away and pulling away. So she starts like she's on guard now. Like you said, I gotta make this bread. No, I gotta like I gotta watch him. I gotta make sure home is happy. I gotta make sure the wheat's growing. I gotta make sure like the sun is shining and Yarilo's happy. And then she finds him at Lada's house and she's like Oh, this motherfucker. Oh, this I'm motherfucker. I'm trying to think of She's pop like, culture. What is right? this? Like, like, like what is... I, I know it's in pop culture, but, like, I don't know what I can think. I don't know, because, like, I'm just picturing, like taken like she's like immediately like baseball bat to his fucking car bitch you know mm -hmm. like that is like and and then he walks out and and that is when it ends for him yeah maybe she, she waits for him to come home maybe she like trashes his car and then hightails it back to the hut and she just like all right this bitch gonna see when he comes home and she's like sitting there waiting with the shotgun yeah <laughs> she's just like this bitch gonna take oh, off. No. I'm getting, no, no. I'm gonna fucking get him. I know how it happened. She's all ghetto as shit. I know how it happened. He ran into her knife. He oh. ran into her knife <laughs> 10 motherfucking times. He had it yes. coming. Yes, he had it coming. He woke up with a headache and she <laughs> took him to urgent care. Oh my God. Oh my God. The funniest yes. thing you told me. That's ever. so true. I just oh can't believe God. that. Can you imagine being that wife? I bet she was like this. Oh my God. Like, I do that on a normal basis. Like, I would be like, like, my fingers would be bloody if I had just, shot my fucking husband. Oh my and went God. to the doctor with him what? to see why his head hurt. What do you mean somebody came in and shot my husband? <laughs> like, like, ever since you told me that story, I kind of do picture her just being like, bam, while he's laying there. I just, it's so sad because, right, right, like, he's, he's, yeah, she shot him. <laughs> She's like, fucking, got you, bitch. Or, or we could go all midsummer and make it, like, a ritual. Because it was technically a ritual killing, at least in what technically, I read. Technically, yeah. I so mean, I could see it being, like, a, a ritual thing. Maybe. Maybe she, like, makes his body into the shape of the house. As she, that's how she kills him. She just, she, like... She doesn't even kill him, kill him. She just starts making him into a new home. Oh, my God. That's that creepy. I was thinking barbaric. maybe, like, she lights his ass on fire. And then as the smoke and the flames kind of, like, fade away, it's in the shape of a house. Yeah. She kills him and makes she him into She kills him and makes him into her house, yeah. You mm -hmm. know, I don't think... Because, like, now I'm like, did she, like, flay him alive? Because, like, how'd she make a house out of his bones? I like your thought where it, like, happens magically. Because right. she is the Slavic goddess of witchcraft. So, um... But they, I imagine, like... She <laughs> fucking puts him in her cauldron. She makes him and like, a house. She makes him a house. She puts him in the cauldron and transforms him into her house. Man, my heart hurts. I this love that. This is a sad story. It is. This is actually really, it is really sad. sad. Yeah. I know, like... I feel bad for Marsana. I feel, I feel bad like for she's Marsana, left but in the cold. Why the fuck do I feel bad for Urelo? Like he kind of was rude. But uh, I, I feel I bad for him. Sad. I think because I think it's just ignorance, bro. You were taken advantage of I by think Emma so. Roberts. I like do, yes, I think that's absolutely. why I feel bad for yeah. him. I do too, because like for me, it's like this, like this whole thing of like He's their the entire life was set on this path right so like these are cyclical deities guys so they go through this every single year yeah. yarilo is reborn he is taken to the underworld where he is raised by velas and raises velas cattle mm -hmm. and then he comes up to the this world he meets marsana he falls in love with marsana mm -hmm. he cheats on marsana damn it and then she makes him into a house I feel sorry if that it's a repeat cycle. I know. And see, like, I feel bad for Marsana because she is the goddess of death, okay? Um, she is the goddess of winter and the goddess of death. And so she is not revered in the Slavic lands, guys. Please don't misunderstand. From everything I've understood from what I read, um, she's pretty hated. I love her. She is my goddess. But I work with the liminal. I'm a hedge witch. It makes sense that I'm drawn to things that move back and forth. Um... But she's not loved. She is killed at the end of the winter by the people. Like, she kills Yarilo, and then the people kill her to signify the end of winter. They, they make an effigy out of her. They take her throughout the town to collect all the sickness. Then they light her on fire and put that in the local rivers. Who got, like, straight Hannibal Lecter vibes? 
if I'm for, being honest. From Marsana? No, from them doing oh, that from to Marsana. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, I do. Like, like, there's a reason, Frankenstein there's a reason vibes. Hannibal like, is fucking it, like the way he oh is. Oh my god, it's just like you feel bad for uh, Frankenstein's monster, right? Right. It's the same thing with Marsana. She's just demonized. I don't know. I feel bad for Marsana. I feel bad for Yarilo now that you have pointed me in a different direction. Because before I was like, no, fuck Yarilo. He cheated on her. He should die. I think he I was. was just. I think I, he I was. I can see it that way. I can. He was. He was pulled. He was pulled away mm -hmm. by the magnetism of. Emma Roberts' bitchiness. <laughs> not to blame, like, the woman, because I feel like... Oh, right. No, but not like, blame. <laughs> But at the same time, what a fucking bitch. I mean, we did cast Emma Roberts. Right? I was <laughs> like, yeah, I didn't know she's the bad guy in the story. So I'm curious on everybody's <laughs> thoughts. Is that the first time you've heard of Urilo, Urilo and Marsana? Because that's the first time I heard of them. Yeah, I... Uh, I'm just going to close this up by saying, I don't know how you picture her if you do. Blue skin and black or white hair, depending on the time of year. Like, 100% for me. Like, she is gorgeous. I, she I is one of my favorite deities. I saw a really pretty picture. I'm yes, like, see. you can find paintings where she looks beautiful and mm -hmm. ones where she looks hag-like. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm sure I'm not the only person who loves Marsana, but uh, I, I think I'm... You know, I'm I'm on this end of the bell curve. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What? Well, that's so crazy. Cause like, well, I haven't done a lot of research on her, so I don't know much about her. But uh, I like her. See, I like this depiction of her right here. Or I do one. love that one. This one. I love is that exactly one exactly how I see her. And I don't know if I see the one. Ooh, I like this one. Sorry, I don't know beautiful. who this is, but it's a pregnant goddess. Well, and in one, there is a a a, a line of myths about her that do not. Uh, it's not in line with this myth, oh, right? This is an old so, one. in a different line of mythology. Um, that is a beautiful painting. Mm -hmm. Sorry um, to keep looking. In but a like, different yeah. line of mythology, she, um, I think, is that the way I picture her? This That's one? kind of that. And then there's one a little bit lower as well that I saw um, that kind of looks like. See, I picture her in an outfit like this, but it's oh, white and blue. I love it. I, now, that's the first image I saw of her. This one? Yeah. Oh, wow. Skinny. Yeah. Mm hmm because she's winter and death. Winter and yeah. death. Yeah. yeah, but, um, yeah, I don't remember what I was saying. So, like, you guys should let us know what you think about Marsana and Yarilo or Slavic mythology in general. Or have you ever heard of Slavic mythology before you started listening to Witches Talking Tarot? I am seriously curious, so you should let us know. I'm glad that I, I'm learning so much about it, if I'm being honest with you. Yeah, and like I'm really it's enjoying super, it. It's super interesting to learn about all the different areas. It is, it is. I like it. All right, well, if you're watching us on YouTube, don't forget to like and subscribe. Help us reach our goal of 100 subscribers. Follow Absolutely. us on Twitter at Classiest Witches. And uh, check us out on Instagram at Witches Talking Tarot or Facebook Witches Talking Tarot, where, like, you can see us give each other one year pot anniversary gifts. Thanks for sitting with us for a spell. <laughs>